we begin with the Trump presidency. We are now in day 17 of the partial government shutdown. And with many federal workers still not getting paid, the battle continues over funding President Trump's border wall. This morning, negotiations are at a seemingly unbreakable impasse. And President Trump is looking for new ways to get money for the border wall. CBS, CBS's Mark Liverman has the latest. As the partial government shutdown enters its third week, President Trump says he may bypass Congress to find the $5 billion for his border wall. I may declare a national emergency dependent on what's going to happen over the next few days. Congressional Democrats have refused to give him any new money, and they're skeptical of his latest idea to use Pentagon funds through an emergency declaration. I think the president would be wide open to a court challenge saying, where's the emergency? But beyond that, this would be a terrible use of Department of Defense. Dollars. As negotiations enter a second week, the White House has so far only offered minor concessions. They don't like concrete, so we'll give them steel. Steel is fine. And if he has to give up a concrete wall, replace it with a steel fence in order to do that so that Democrats can say, see, he's not building a wall anymore. Newly empowered House Democrats are expected to pass individual bills this week to reopen various agencies. We need to open up government and then negotiate, not the other way around. A handful of Senate Republicans now say it's time to follow suit. Maine's Susan Collins is one of them. Well, I can't speak for Senator McConnell, but I would like to see him bring the House pass bills to the Senate floor. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said he won't bring any bill to a vote without the president's support. Mark Liverman, CBS News.